Last time on the Andex Challenge USA, the final 14 were sent to the Dragon's Den for an epic race across the cave. The first 11 finalists who crossed the finish line were safe, while the remaining 3 finalists were at risk of leaving. That's where the real fun was. <laughs> to start things off, Arcanine has blackmailed Absol into helping her take out Driftblim, Manetric beat the crap out of Magneton for lying to him about their relationship, and Flareon's Dredagon was simply slow. As a result of these three events, Driftlin, Magneton, and Flareon were obviously the unlucky three losers. At the Master Ball ceremony, it wasn't a shock when Magneton was sent falling, due to the one rule he forgot to follow in this game. Lying has consequences, and boy does it on this show. Thirteen finalists remain, and soon there will only be twelve. Find out how that happens tonight on the NBX Challenge USA! Alright ladies, now that we're here, it's time to talk about who we should get rid of. It's important that we figure this out sooner rather than later. And of course, because other than us, there's ten other people on this show. Exactly, Fletchling. And we need to stay focused. It's the final thirteen, and we're getting closer to the end. And I want to be the and I want to be in the final three with you guys. So we need a game plan on who to keep an eye on. Well, I was thinking Noivern, but that sounds too easy. You're right. It does sound too easy. We should leave him. We should leave him for someone later. I'm sure someone's planning on taking him out, and if not, he'll get himself eliminated eventually. Well, how about Manetric? He's a threat. He's been playing. All, he's been playing hard all season, and he hasn't stopped since. Oh, good observation, Espion. I mean, yeah, he's likable, and he could easily place in the finale if anything. Of course, I didn't think of that. I'll keep him in mind. Cool, cool. All right. These are all good ideas. Let's keep brainstorming. The sooner we find a list of people to take out, the better our alliance will be. Indeed. Yeah, this is great. I'm so excited in being this being in this girls' alliance. It truly is a great thing to be here. I'm just happy I'm in the final thirteen. I kind of wish Swellow was here, but that's just wishful thinking because I knew he couldn't be here due to the fact that people found out about our relationships, and I should have known from the start that relationships are going that a relationship was a bad idea. But lo and behold, like Driftlin said, I was gonna end up falling in love anyway. That's the game for you. 
And anyway, like it matters, I'm in the final 13! And I'm gonna win this for me and Swellow. And eventually take out everyone else in this game. Well, except my girls, of course, but eventually they'll have to go. Just how the game rolls. I'm really excited about this alliance. It's just, no one else had me in an alliance at all, and now that I'm in one, it's, it just feels great to know that there are people who have my back, in case I'm at risk. Plus, we're all planning on going to the final three, so I'm really looking forward to it like, two times more than I already was. I really like this, and Ponytail leading it is just great. This can't possibly get any better. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll win this thing. I'm simply telling them to give me ideas that I've already had in store. I already know Noivern's a threat. I definitely know Manetric's a threat. At this point, I know my Lodic's just some tool being used by Noivern. I know all of it. <laughs> I keep an eye on my surroundings. I'm just waiting for the right time to take out both my alliance and everyone else in this game. Give it at least another week or so and I'll begin my plans. But for now, we're just going to keep them under wraps. <sighs> so sad. Seriously, Flareon, come on. You've got to get over this. No, I will not. Leave me alone, Manetric. So sad. Can you at least come out of the corner? I mean, come on. You've been like this for a week. I know Delcati's gone, but it's been like two weeks since. Can't you let it go? No, I will not let it go. No pun intended. I will not let it go at all. In fact, I'm not going to give up on the fact that I'm sad about that catty. I should have been eliminated over her. Just why? Why? Um, because she wanted to leave. Larion, it's not your fault. And besides, you're back, you're, you're back with her. Isn't that good enough? No, it's not. I want, I want it to be eliminated over her. She deserved this more than I did. Norm now, normally I would keep playing this game just to win, but I just can't seem to push through this depression. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because I feel so bad and I feel guilty for what happened. You'll get through it, Flareon. Everyone, everyone ends up getting through it. Yeah, and most of them end up calling it quits in the game. Maybe that's what I'll do, call it quits. No, you deserve to win this. Yeah, right, Manetric, you deserve it more than I do. Thanks, but come on, have a little more faith. Yeah, 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 I'll try. But I'm still not pleased. Well, hello there. Oh, hey, Drift Okay, let me speak. Last week, you were with Arcanine. And while I totally understand where you're going with this, that you want to fix things between me and Arcanine, that's not working for me. I don't care what you're doing with Arcanine, and I don't care if it's a plan to get me and her to be friends or anything, but it's not working. So, I need you to make a decision right now. Me? Or her? What? Drifplum, you actually making me make a Are you actually forcing me to make a decision between you and Arcanine? You know I love you. Really? Then why the hell would you align yourself with my arch rival of all people? Maybe because... I wish I could tell you. That's right. You wish you could tell me. Well, whatever it is, you let me know. But right now, I just don't want to see your face or talk to you. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're my enemy until we straighten things out. Prepare for a heaping helping of Hurricane Driftblim because I'm going to beat your ass down to win this game. Later. Dude, what's up with you and Driftblim? Hey, mind your business, Noivo. This is none of your business. Um, whatever. Man, it sucks that I can't tell Driftling the truth. If I did, she'd be even more devastated and pissed than she already is. It's so, like I really need that after the arguing that those two had to go have been doing for the past couple weeks since I got back. Man, what am I gonna do, son? This is not helping at all. I'm curious as to what's going on with Absol and Driftling. And it has something to do with Arcanine. It appears I'm gonna have to get involved. <laughs> this makes for great drama, and a new alliance member. With Manetric out of my alliance, I could use someone else for the time being. 
my low deck's not going, it's just not going to cut it. Good morning, final 13! Wow, 13. Talk about downsizing. Anyway, last week we lost Magneton, and this week we are now in Chicago, Illinois! What reason would we ever have to be in Chicago, Illinois? Spielberg agrees. For what reason? I mean, it's a great place and all, but why? You'll find out in a moment. Bye bye Ah! <laughs> Alright, so here's the challenge for today. Listen closely. Today we'll be competing in a hoverboard race up in the skies of Chicago, Illinois. And of course, that means it'll be very windy. But we'll be... But the winds are a little died down due to the fact that it's kind of warm right now. But then again, it's freaking Chicago. But more or less, again, like I said, you'll be in a, going on a hoverboard race. Each and every one of you have a hoverboard, and you'll be racing through various rings. However, there's a twist. Those rings will close on you, so you might want to go through them faster rather than slower. And, of course, at the end of the challenge, there will only be two winners. And those two winners will not only receive immunity, but will also get a special reward, which I will reveal when our winners are revealed. All I can say is, you kind of want this immunity. And you kind of want the reward. For what it's worth. Alright, let's begin! Let's go up top the build. let's go up top the building and begin this hoverboard race! Alright! On your marks, get set, go! Ah! And they're off. And there goes Spupa, followed by Flareon. And there goes my Lodic, and there's Manetric. And don't forget Driftblim, and Ponyta. And let's not forget Noivern, and Crocorock. And there goes Espeon. Here goes Arcanine. Oh, and there's Absol, and there's Fletchling, and there's Larvesta, and of course, the first ring is closed. Everyone passed. Good for them. They're gonna hate the surprise at the at the bottom when they don't when some of them don't make it. All right, there they are. Ah, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Ah, wait up. I'm gonna win this. Yeah! Alright! Icing here! Woohoo! Ah! Ah! dude, no! Oh no, oh no! <laughs> That's right, a nice swamp chock full of basculin. You're welcome! And here they come! Ah! Ah! Wait up! I'm gonna win now! Oh no, you don't! Gotta win this! Immunity, baby! Wait up! Uh, Alright, son! Woohoo! <laughs> crap, crap, no! <laughs> ah! Woohoo! Alright! Yeah! Wait up! Woo, I'm gonna win this! It's gonna be my son! Woohoo! Ooh, no one got hurt! That's great! <laughs> ah, oops! Spoke too soon! Crap, why was I so slow? <laughs> Alright, I'm winning this! Wait up! I'm so winning this! Oh, now you die! Wait up! I think yeah! Wait up! <laughs> ah! Crap, this is unacceptable! Wait, no! no. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright! Wait up! This game is mine! Oh no, you don't! Yes, son! Wait for me! Alright! Yeah, yeah! Wait for me! Ha ha! Ah! 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 What the hell? No! Someone's 
someone's ass is about to get whooped. You, the viewer, may take a good guess while I prepare my fist. Because someone's ass is going to get kicked! So anyway! Mm, I'm not proud of that song. Man, why, why me? Just why? I never meant to do that, Driftblunt. I'm so sorry. Oh no, you don't! I go to witness. Woohoo! Get back here! Wait for me! All right, I'm in the lead. Oh no, you don't! Oh no, no, no! Oh, fooey! And here comes two finalists. Yeah! All right! Congrats, guys! You win! Yeah! Yeah! All right! That's awesome! Sweet! Okay, so you guys receive immunity from tonight's elimination. Yay! And what about the reward? Oh yes, the reward is the two of you will be able to evolve. Seriously? Oh my gosh! No way! In three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Oh yeah, I'm a crocodile now. Oh my gosh, I'm a Fletcher now. Yay, now I'm not so small. I don't think there's a problem with it. Yay! Congrats, you guys. Now you're evolved and safe to go to the final 12. <laughs> a bonus, I might say. All right, the rest of you are up for grabs. See you at tonight's Master Ball ceremony to vote someone out. Be ready. Oh yeah, I'm a crocodile now. No one can mess with me now. I'm stronger than ever. Oh, I'm so gonna win this game. <laughs> this game is mine. Yay, I'm a Fletchender. I've always dreamed of evolving. I probably wasn't going to for at least another couple months, but this works too. I'm so happy. Yay. This is just great. Now I'm even more encouraged to keep on going and win this thing. I know I can now. I'm stronger than ever! Uh, so I take it you have the urge to come here too? Yeah, totally. Listen, Larvesta, these past couple of weeks, Spielberg has been thinking. She really likes you. I mean, I really like you. A lot. I like you too. And, while Crocodile is all great and stuff, I only got with him to use him as an Alliance member. I never really had feelings for either him nor that stupid star. Well then what? So then, why didn't you just say you wanted to be in an Alliance with him? Because it was easier to say we were in a relationship, rather than have him flirt with me throughout the entire season, making it look like we were a couple from the stars, making me an even bigger threat. Oh. But, the feelings I have for you, they are pure and true. Same here. So, I was wondering... I was wondering, too, if you're... Hi, Spielpa. Uh, Infernape didn't mention this earlier, but... Apparently, I, me and uh, Fletch and got dibs on first class, and I was wondering if you'd like to come with me, because we were allowed to bring one person with us. Uh, sure, of course. Uh, see you later, Ravesta. Uh, yeah, totally. So close. Alright, explain yourself. Explain what? You know what, Arcanine! Alright? Absol? Sabotaging me? Today? Oh, I know that it's something to do with you. You have a lot to explain. No, I don't actually. It was just an alliance plan. <laughs> I mean, if you're pissed about him sabotaging you, that's fine, but like, I really care. Oh, so you don't care. Well, guess what? I have a schedule to kick someone's ass and you just appeared- you just happened to be on my list! Prepare to get your ass whooped, you dumbass dog! Hey, so stop! Stop! This is gone way too far. Oh, look, 
the perpetrator who sabotaged me. What the hell's wrong with you? Hmm? I don't understand it. I'm trying to, but sadly, I do not. Hmm? Why are you working with her? <laughs> I'm working with her because she has some dirt on me. Dirt? What kind of dirt, Absol? You're clean as a whistle. Not really, son. Because Arcanine and I... She had a kiss last week. You what? You heard him, Driftlin. We shared a kiss. Shut the hell up, Arcanine. Now let me see if I can get this right, and let me see if I can hear if I heard that clear. You made out with that. Thing over there. For what reason did you have to make out with her? Am I not enough anymore? No, just it's not that. It's just oh, you fell for some blackmail. I don't give two craps. The fact that you kissed her, or even thought about it. Why would you do that? You know that would make me feel like crap. I'm really sorry. You know I would never do anything like this. Oh, really? <laughs> because you just did. <laughs> but you know what? If you know why, if you, if there's a re if you're wondering why you're, ha why you have a vote on you from here on out, it's because of me, you little jerk off. And if you organize. Problem. Wait. Mission accomplished. Can you not talk now? For five minutes, son. Fine. Just gonna reminisce in the silence of awesomeness. How could he do that? I never thought Absol would ever do that. Ever. I mean, I expect that out of Arcanon, but Absol. That's just taking things way too far. It's a new low for you, bro. It's a new effing low. So you can kiss my ass. Cause we are done. We are done, Absol. I never thought you'd actually be kissing Arcanine. Oh, I'm so voting for you. I don't want to because I'm so in love with you, but you put this upon yourself. You douche. Two time and kissing effing douche! Masturbal ceremony merge! Can I just say the tension in this room is priceless? Welcome, Final 13, to the next Masturbal ceremony! There are 13 of you and 12 of these. One of you will be going home tonight. And I can safely say, aside from all the tension going on in this room, it's about to get real at, on this at this in this ceremony. <laughs> all right, so master balls go to Driftblim, Espion, Noivern, Fletchender for her immunity this week, Arcanine, Spupa, Milotic, Larvesta, Ponyta. Manetric, and Crocodile for his immunity this week. Our bottom two tonight are Flareon and Absol. Wow, both returning contestants. That's a coincidence. Come on down, boys. Okay, so you both came back in episode 22, and one of you is about to end your journey tonight. Again. Who will it be? We don't know. Absol, uh... I don't know what's going on. You did get votes. Yeah, whatever, son. And Flareon, you kept asking people to vote yourself out for the third time in a row. Yeah, well, get over it. Okay, well, let's find out which one of you has gotten the wish to leave. Fine, again.
And the last Master Ball of the night goes to... Absol. Yeah, I kind of saw this one coming. I knew you were going to be safe, Absol. I kept telling people to finally get rid of me. Hell, even I voted for myself. You sure you're going to be okay, Flareon? Of course I will. I'm going to go see my girl. After all, we technically did get back together the same day she left. So, yeah. I'm going to go see her. Probably apologize to Starmie a couple more times. And spend more time with Delcatty, as it was supposed to be. Listen, guys. I'm sorry that I kept hounding you to vote me out, but this is what I wanted, and I appreciate it, because now I get to go see Delcatty and fix things, and fix everything, so, you know, you really did me some good. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Blair, bye, bye. Glad you finally became a better person again. Yeah, me too, Driftlim. All right, Infinite, drop me. Uh, will do. Ah! And he's out. Again. The rest of you are safe. Welcome to the final 12. Ah, it feels good to be out. I never thought I'd ever say that, like, at all. You know, if you asked me at the beginning of this season how I would feel about getting eliminated at this point, I'd probably be pissed because I would still be talking about myself, but it's a different story. I've now learned that it's not right to be super cocky, and I really feel bad about everything, but the good news is I get to go see Delcaddy, make it up to her, give her a late birthday present, and on top of that, I get to fix things with Starmie, or finally fix things with Starmie, because nothing's really been good with us since, for the past two years. Either way, I get to fix things and get back on track with my life, and I get to be less cocky about it, so I hope that's good for you all. Anyways, see you guys later! Now we're down to 12 finalists, folks. Only a couple more weeks to go before we grow closer to the end. Whew! What a season to think about it. With that being said, who will the next goner be? And what's next week's destination? Figure it all out next time on the Andy X Challenge USA. I'm Infernape. I'm Anafi. See you guys next episode. Peace out. Bye! Tomorrow, the world will be a different place.